Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to African Real Estate Podcast. And this is our episode 14, where we will be discussing about types of various properties, among them real estate properties. We hope that you have been well all through, and thank you so much for always coming back to listen to our podcast. I will be your host, Dominic Mwangi, alongside Victor Kiplagat. Karibu sana, guys. Asante. Our topic today will be types of properties, the introduction. Property is anything that an individual or business has total legal authority over. It could also mean a tangible as well as intangible. It could also mean an intangible item that carries a promise for a future worth, e.g. stock and bonds. Property could also be explained as land as well as building and property holds monetary value whether it is current or a potential for a future monetary value hence considered as an asset and that is the definition of properties victor take it over all right look at uh, real estate properties as a bigger form of the property i'll focus on real estate one of the major one is land land is the most basic form of real estate because you understand dominic that in land is where the building literally will fall into or will be situated in. Um, Mm -hmm. Land is a finite resource and a key factor in the development of new properties. It can be classified based on its current use, potential for development or environmental factors. All right, types of land. You find that there's a land called raw land or in some quarters you might hear say people saying virgin land, a land where it has not been used before for any developmental purposes. Raw land is underdeveloped land with no existing structures or improvement. Subdivided land, land that has been divided into smaller parcels, typically for residential or commercial development purposes. Infill land, vacant or underutilized land that can be redeveloped within an urban area. Is there a difference? Is it same with a riparian land? No, 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 no. Riparian land is the land that is near, let's say, water bodies where the government oh. says this amount of distance, there should be no building. For example, in rural areas, 30 meters from the river. But now in Nairobi, you find that there are buildings above even the water body itself. All right. Great point. Thank you. Moving forward swiftly, residential real estate properties. In these types, we have a subclass of them. The single family homes from the word residency. These are detached homes or houses with individual ownership. Multi-family homes, buildings with multiple separate units such as duplexes, triplexes, apartments and buildings. And then condominiums, individual units within large building or complex where owners share common areas and amenities. This could mean parkings, rooftops, gaming lounge, just to mention but a few. Townhouses, still under residential real estate, row houses often with multiple stories and shared walls. Of course, these are found mostly in urban areas. Co-ops or cooperative housing, uh, this is where residents own shares in corporation that owns the building. This, Dominic, is also much understood in a Kenyan setting whereby we have circles. Have you heard of mm-hmm. circles? Yes, yes, that yes. That own houses? Mm-hmm. The third type is commercial real estate. This consists of properties designed for business activities, and these include office buildings. These are where properties are designed for office use. Basically, this could be official work, like maybe companies, retail properties, whereby we have retail property is basically for business, shopping centers, malls, standalone stores. Another type of commercial real estate, and which is interesting because it brings income to the country, hotels and hospitality, lodging and tourism-related properties. Interestingly, Dominic, mixed-use properties. You remember we looked at mixed house development? Mm-hmm, uh, we did. In previous episode, yeah. Mixed-use property developments that combine commercial, real estate, and sometimes industrial users. So it's like a mixed bag. It combines business aspect, the housing aspect, and also the industrial aspect. And speaking of industrial aspect, the next and the final bit of the types of real estate property is the industrial real estate. And this combines properties used for manufacturing, storage, and distribution of goods and services. And we have warehouses. Warehouses basically do store large-scale properties, large-scale storage facility, manufacturing facilities. They are properties designed for the production of goods and manufacturing, distribution centers, facilities that support the transportation and distribution of goods at the data centers. And these buildings house computer servers, and related equipment. And one of the best examples is the Google headquarters, whereby they house a lot of data. Agreed, agreed. This episode, the first 
part of it that is about real estate will sound very familiar. They will listen and re-listen and think that we are repeating what we have been saying. It is almost that because we have been widely looking at real estate because as we say, this podcast is all about exploring the dynamics in real estates, right? Yes. Thank you for expounding much on real estate property. Moving on, a second type of property, you find that there is real property. This Mm -hmm. is the most common type and it includes lands, buildings that occupy the land and rights you know, to use and enjoy the land. Okay, let me put this thing clear before we proceed. You will find that a lot of property, they will fall under different categories of types of property. These types are defined by either accessibility, the use of the property, the ownership, the rights to the property. So you'll find possibly land will fall under real estate. It will fall under real property. It will also fall under other different categories. Now, going back to real property, real property is the focal point of real estate and majorly deals with transactions for example buying selling renting leasing managing etc the transactions includes land buildings for residential commercial agriculture use as well as industrial use further yeah. you'll find that you'll find that interests in real property they include freehold estates and non freehold estates freehold estates this can be inherited while non freehold estates cannot be transferred for example leases rental agreements those cannot be transferred but you'll find that title deeds ownership of a property can be transferred that is now the interests on the property includes freehold as well as non freehold. Now, the next pro- type of property, you find that there are personal properties. This refers to real property, but it's quite different since it excludes real estates, that is, buildings as well as lands. So, when we talk about personal property, we exclude buildings and land. This is property that can be physically transferred, but not directly attached to land. For example, automobiles, furniture, tools etc jewelries name them this can be transferred can be moved from one place to another it may also include intangible assets such as bank accounts patents as well as investments patents means the exclusive rights that are granted for one's inventions or innovations moving on to the next type of property we find private property these are property that are owned by a natural person or a private entity they may include but not limited to personal property real property tangible and intangible assets that include intellectual property which are creations of one's mind e.g inventions literature designs symbols artistics work name names, logos, images, name them, and also patents. Patents falls under personal property, and it also falls under Mm -hmm. private property. Wow, interesting. All right. We also have government-owned property, and just as the name sounds, these are properties that are entirely owned by the government. So you'll find fields, museums, national parks, name them, that are in the ownership of the government. Most of these are public properties. However, that does not mean that they are always open to the public. You may find that a particular place has some rest restrictions that no you should not cross this line at a particular point for example during covid victor you will agree with me that yes. across the country there was some curfew sure sure i remember so the government may also limit that accessibility of the government owned property due to one or two reasons or restriction of movement exactly moving on you find intellectual property and this we have mentioned earlier in the past types of properties intellectual property these are the types of property that are owned and legal legally protected by one person or by a person or a company from external use without their consent, the owner's consent. This may include copyrights, patents, trademarks, and trademarks, these are easily recognized words, phrases, or symbols denoting a specific product. Willis Raburu, recently the court granted him some payment because of, the because of bazoo. our bazoo, exactly. So yeah. these are intellectual properties. And in Kenya, there is a law that is called the copyrights law. I think, Victor, you're conversant with this law. Yes, we studied it in media school. Legal protections, again, is the use of most intellectual property. It may expire after some period of time. You will find that there are some, they last forever. Moving on, we have tangible property. These are the types of properties that can be felt or touched, and they can be physically relocated. You will find that you can touch a jewelry, you can touch furniture, you can touch automobiles, you can touch business equipment, you can touch electronics, you can touch household appliances, etc. So these are tangible property. Surprisingly, land also happens to fall under tangible property. However, land cannot be moved. But the reason why it falls under tangible property 
is because you can touch land and the land can be occupied. Land and buildings, they fall also under tangible property. Lastly, they are intangible properties. These are the types of properties that exist without the physical existence. That statement quite contradicts itself, but this is what it means. For example, patents, you cannot touch a patent. It exists, but you cannot touch it. You cannot touch a copyright. You cannot touch a trademark. I just go to Copyright Board of Kenya and say, no, this word should not be used by people. I cannot touch the legal form of the thing that will be implemented. I cannot touch it, but that is a copyright. It is intangible property. Intellectual properties also falls under these categories, and these are items of value that cannot be physically touched and that is it victor wow something interesting you mentioned about land land you said mm-hmm. land is tang- tangible what about an island is it intangible because you only feel the water and uh, it is colorless <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I think also an island, I think it is also part of land. Yes. You can touch rocks, you can touch the soil, you can touch the plantation on that land. You can also occupy the land. So I believe it also falls under tangible properties. For example, we also have a country like Madagascar. Madagascar is an entire island. Wow. We conclude it at that. Yes. We thank our listeners for always supporting us and listening into our podcast. We look forward to the next episode. Comment, follow this podcast wherever you'll find it on our youtube channel on our website or on our different platforms i will we appreciate even as you will comment like and share i mean subscribe to the channel but also most importantly once you've gathered this knowledge be an extension to someone else who does not know what real estate is exactly uh, basically we can refer them to one of the holy books which is the bible when you light a lamp yeah, don't, don't put do it not it it. true do not put it, it under a bowl and a barrel exchange with your friends and family and uh, by that we will make real estate better and uh, ourselves more informed thank you so much once again i have been your host dominic mwangi i've been the co-host or the co-pilot victor kiplager and until next time see you see you soon, soon.